zone as you all might understand there is an interest that needs to be paid for some period and probably of the principal has to be repaid at the end of some period this is typically called as interest only loan kind of scenario wherein i keep paying only the interest for some periods and the principal is paid on the maturity of that particular loan after a certain point in time but the more common kind of loan varieties today are called as amortizing loans when i say amortizing loans it's like along with the interest some portion of a principal also is being paid every period along with the interest some portion of the principal is also paid over this period in such a way that by the end of this loan period the principal that is outstanding will become zero so it's instead of paying all the principal towards the end this kind of amortizing kind of a mechanism talks about the principal repayment in parts <coughs> some portion of the principal getting repaid on along with the interest on every installment but to keep this installment again uh, if if interest is paid and some portion of the principal is being paid probably there could be a variation in the interest and the principal that comes up in each of the period so <coughs> it is seen in such a way that if these payments are kept level for the entire period <coughs> the same x is being paid for the entire period and still ensuring that by the end of uh, the loan period the principal outstanding is zero which means the whole principal would have got paid up so this x is nothing but a combination of the interest and the portion of the principal repayment and it is structured in such a way that each of the periods i get uh, uh, some portion of the interest and some portion of the principal but the total put together will be constant for all the periods and which would definitely uh, result in eliminating uh, the entire principal outstanding at the end of the loan period so more or less we have to discuss only on these kind of loan because these in these kind of loans the interest portion and the principal portion keep changing every period though the total is still x the interest portion and the principal portion keep changing because the moment you keep paying some portion of the principal the outstanding principal will go down which means the interest that is applicable for the next period will go down but the total uh, total uh, x which you are paying is still the same which means in the next period you are contributing a little bit more to the principal so what we generally observe in this mechanism is in this amortization scheme as the time progresses the interest portion will keep coming down whereas the principal portion will keep going up but still to both of them put together is always constant so that is the key aspect of this uh, uh, amortization based uh, loan repayment schedule so if at all i have to calculate the same so because my uh, so how do i compute what should be that equal level amount that i have to pay every period all i am doing is present value of the future cash flows assuming that x is the cash flow every month right over a n year period so for every n years i have to pay x every year i am saying the present value of this x is nothing but uh, that should be equal to the loan amount that has been taken but at the same time sometimes it would happen on a monthly basis the payment may happen on a 
monthly basis that is the most common word we use emi equated monthly installment so whenever we are using this uh, concept of emi then x being paid every month i am trying to find out the present value of this annuity assuming that you are paying for n years so i have to may convert this also into years which means i am actually paying 12x i am actually paying 12x in a year and that 12x i am discounting to the present value using an and of course uh, on a pithily convertible kind of a basis <coughs> so the moment i know what is the period of the loan <coughs> and what is the loan amount that has been taken and the interest rate because this has to be discounted at some interest rate i so whatever the x i am going to find out that x portion of it is the uh, emi that i have to pay in each of the periods now along with that there could be a few more elements here now i know this x but in this x what is the interest portion and what is the principal portion right probably uh, let's say we are talking about uh, some kth installment some kth installment let's say i am trying out as x now if uh, so one thing what i can find out is assuming this x is known right because i know the installment once i use this formula i can find out what is this x now using this x what i can try out is let's say i want to know what is the capital what is the principal capital is also used for that what is the capital or the principal portion and what is the interest portion for the k plus 1th payment all i can do is i can find out this present value for k period i can find out the present value of k period so i'll do it as 12 into x this is per k this is per k right whatever is the period similarly i can find out the present value for k plus 1 period 12 x a k plus 1 12 so this is the value of the loan outstanding at the end of kth period or kth year this is the loan that is outstanding at the end of k plus 1th year so the difference between the two is the loan repaid between k and k plus 1th year so the loan repaid is nothing but principal repayment part so the difference between these two is nothing but the principal portion that is repaid during that particular year but overall payment that is being done is 12x x every month and 12 times uh, for the year so 12x is the total amount paid but this difference is the principal that has been repaid the difference in this period will give me the interest uh, paid during this k plus 1th year interest paid during k plus 1th year is obtained through that mechanism and the principal outstanding is coming through the uh, finding out the difference between the total principals outstanding between that period and the previous period will give me the amount of the principal that is paid uh, during that particular period otherwise okay once i know that this is the principal that is outstanding at the end of kth period on that principal you apply the interest so that will give me the interest that is paid during the k plus 1th year so again from 12x you subtract this interest which will give you the principal that is uh, that uh, is paid during the k plus 1th year either of the ways you just need to visualize either find out the principal outstanding for both the periods subtract the same 
and say that the difference is the composition of the principal repayment during the period and from 12x subtract that part and say that that is the contribution of the interest payment during this uh, period. Similarly, the other side is find out the principal outstanding as of the previous period, multiply it with the interest rate and say that that is the interest composition for that particular uh, period and subtract that number from 12x to compute what is the principal repayment uh, portion of the sale. So, in general, what people look at is a kind of a schedule is typically made. Okay, initially when I am trying to prepare, what is my initial principle? Right, a schedule kind of stuff is being made for each of the years or months, whatever is the payment period. So, initial principle is there, let's say some X. On that, what is the interest portion of it? X into whatever is the interest rate. What is the repayment portion or probably here let me call it initial principal is some P. P into I percent is my interest rate for that period. But I am doing a repayment for that period which is X or probably 12X. Depending on whether I am doing a monthly part or yearly part, 12 per 12X is what is the repayment I am doing. So principal portion. Principal repayment is nothing but 12, 12x minus the P times the I percent whatever we have got. So from here you can uh, talk.